Hi, this video gives you an overview of our private marketplace offering. As you have seen in our introduction to marketplace video, the marketplace is a repository for reusable software assets. You can download assets from the marketplace in your projects or contribute as well. This marketplace is public. If you are an enterprise company that produces a lot of apps and are forced to recreate similar software assets for each app, they are great candidates for the public marketplace. But for a range of reasons, you might not want to do them in the public domain. We understand this need and our answer is the private marketplace. The private marketplace builds on the public marketplace to address concerns unique to large enterprises, where you may leverage all of the features of the public marketplace, but privately within your company, restricting access only to users you specify. Consider a few example assets, an internal login component, common UI layouts for forms, common business functionality across apps. For instance, if you are a bank, and you have all your apps requiring users to authenticate with a one-time password, that would be a great asset for your private marketplace. Now, let us see how you can access the private marketplace. You first have to get it created by working with your account managers. Once you have done that, you see the option to switch from public to private marketplace and also can have a common view that includes all your public and private assets. Your private marketplace is attached to your Pony Fabric Cloud account. As with the public marketplace, you can access the private marketplace too from Visualizer by configuring the appropriate Kony Fabric Cloud account. Now let's talk about the roles of users available in the private marketplace. You can configure your users to be either regular members or moderators. While any designated member can submit an asset, only a moderator can approve such submitted assets to be part of the private marketplace. Every time an asset is approved, an email goes out to the submitter and moderator indicating so. Of course, anyone in your company can consume the assets. Once in the private marketplace moderator screen, you can see assets pending approval. Based on your review, you can choose to approve or reject the submitted asset. The private marketplace settings option enables the moderator to customize the appearance of the marketplace with your own branding and also declare some assets as featured assets. You can customize the appearance of the approval email too. You can also choose to auto approve assets as a moderator. The submission process involves the member opting the upload option which takes him to the form where he can specify various details of the asset he is submitting including which marketplace he wants this to go to, public or private. Lastly, as an enterprise, if you have multiple Kony Fabric cloud accounts, you can have as many private marketplaces. You can also transfer assets between your private marketplaces. You can even share an asset to a private marketplace not owned by you. Imagine you have a partner developing an app and you want them to use the aforementioned one-time password component. The share feature allows you to share this to the partner's private marketplace. To summarize, the private marketplace is a private variant of the public marketplace that will make sense for your enterprise specific use cases. Do check out our videos on how to submit assets. Thank you.